All right, guys, in this video, let's see if we can uh, call up that index.html file that we just created using a web browser. And now, keep in mind, we're using the web browser on our local machine. The file lives on the server. So we need to have our browser, our web client, request the file from the web server, Apache, in, in main campus. If that file shows up on our, in our web page, then um, it's all successful. It's perfect. So in order to do so, let's see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch to my browser. I'm going to type in http colon slash slash udel.edu slash tilde w boyer. That tilde is the key that's to the left of your number one at the top of your keyboard. So we'll type that in there and enter. And I want to refresh mine, right? Because I can see that this is the browser is caching my page, so it showed an old page that that was there. That is my new page. I'll verify it with you by showing you Putty here. Okay, so there's my log. I'm logged in, and that's my Pico. My uh, Pico's open, and my file index.html, as you can see at the top, is open, and that's the contents. So then what I can do to verify this further with you is, is type some, here, let me open this, type some random stuff in here. I'll do a control O to write out the file. Yeah, I don't want to save it. And then I'll come back to my browser. Here, let me show you the browser. And I'm going to refresh the browser. I'm going to hold control down and refresh the browser. And you see that the modifications that I made are in fact showing in the browser. So the, the interesting thing happened there was that um, the browser was holding a cache or it's holding the history. It knows that I've already visited this page before. And so it just reused the page that it had already rather than going out to the server, going out to Copeland. So I held down the control when I refreshed uh, to tell the browser, I don't want you using anything from the cache. I want you to go out back out to the server and get that, get a fresh copy. Hopefully that worked. The web server will always try to return something to you. If it's not the page that you want, then it's going to return some sort of an error page. It could be file not found. It could be, most likely, could be uh, permission denied. So we want to pay attention to what when we don't get our page, what what is the error message that's being sent back by the web server? Um, if it's it's most likely for for you guys, if there's a, something wrong, it's a permissions problem. So I will try to address some of those issues in um, this next video that I'm about to create. Anyway, catch you in a minute.